Hello and welcome back to my Applied Data Science channel. My name is Joanna, I'm a senior data scientist and this video is about a day in my life as a data scientist. I usually start work around 8 a.m. after getting my toddler ready for kindergarten. At the moment I have a part-time commitment to a client, so currently I work 4 hours a day there. The remaining 4 hours I'm using for self-development, learning things I'm interested in, creating content, taking on smaller projects. For my client, I start off by logging into the task tracker and check if there are new tasks for me every day. I usually spend several days working on the same task, as much of the work has a strong research vibe. We have a 20 minutes round table every day to update the team on our progress. I am mainly developing tools that would reduce the manual work of agents evaluating intellectual property rights. Lately, I've been focusing on using LLM APIs, building LangChain pipelines, do some prompt engineering, writing machine learning APIs, and even build some simple web interfaces that would allow the non-technical people play with the models and give feedback with respect to the quality of the results. So today I've been working on building a proof of concept which takes in text input from the user. The text is pre-processed before being passed to an LLM API. I'm usually starting from the bottom up, so I start with the low-level classes and finish off with the user interface. First I wrote the request and response classes. I'm usually using the Pydentic library, which incorporates data validation as well. Then I went on to the service where all the logic lives and wrote the unit tests to make sure the functions return what I'm expecting. For testing, you can choose a library like unit test or pytest. This is not a complicated proof of concept, so it was rather straightforward this time. I feel this is less of data science that I've been used to, but it's nice to explore this more machine learning engineering side of things, as my goal is to become an end-to-end -end professional. This week was a little bit different because I've volunteered to help with analyzing and interpreting the results of a survey. I'm part of a local community of mother entrepreneurs who are dedicated to offer support and share knowledge with each other. They've asked 200 ladies about the areas where they need support and information, so I offered to turn data into knowledge for them. I've spent around three hours every day working for that and today I'm putting together the report. I've already decided which will be the storyline and also decided on the visualizations. Initially, using cluster analysis, I wanted to create the profiles of the entrepreneurs and then characterize these profiles, but that didn't work as expected, so I needed to go a different way. There was an open question in the survey, which is your greatest challenge at the moment? To which the answers were very different. So I've had the idea of counting how many times each word or expression was used. Then I could have a statistic of the most frequent words which would indicate common challenges. To make things pretty, I've created a word cloud and encapsulated the words in the contour of Romania, the country where the survey was conducted. I analyzed the words and concluded, behind every Romanian female entrepreneur there is a superhero having to balance economical instability, legislation changes, cash flow deficits, customer satisfaction, work and life. Then I connected the ever-changing political and economical environment to the extremely low entrepreneurial initiatives and performed an analysis of the needs by group. So I divided all these aspects into aspects related to strategy, goal setting and business model, needs related to starting a business and later development of the business, entrepreneurial skills, finances, taxes and legislation knowledge, and of course mental health. I've observed that the needs are different according to how long ago the company was created, so the business owners of newly created companies had different needs compared to those of the more experienced owners. I decided to report based on this criterion. 
I used Seaborn to generate the plots and I had to do some cleaning of these plots to have them support my ideas. So I removed the axes, used colors to emphasize the relevant information, also used a cool to warm color palette to indicate the survey scale, from completely disagree to totally agree. Then I extracted the most relevant information on the site, which will relieve the customer from having to extract the knowledge from the plots herself. There is a lot of manual work in stylizing the plots to match the report's font and have the reader flow through the information, but it is also rewarding. I've added the logo of my company at the bottom of the plots, such that when disseminated by the press, they would give me some visibility on the market and potentially some customers. All in all, this has been a productive week for me. I enjoyed the combination of working on a small project where the reward and the result is almost instant and then have the more research-oriented long-term commitment where the gratification is delayed or might never come. I always say that the number one skill data science has taught me is resilience. Thank you all for subscribing to the channel. I hope this video has inspired you to want to become a data scientist even more. We are 150 more than we were two weeks ago. Thank you all for subscribing. I wish you a warm welcome and I hope to see you all next time.